All right, guys, so we're going over the crotch rings kit. Uh, I did a video, I did some video outside, but a lot of it I can't be real clear out there, so I was gonna bring it in and show you. This is what you get with the kit. You get two of the 3D printed uh, flexible rings. These rings are flexible. Um, Innovating Outdoors printing these for us. He can put a little CGM on there. Oh, they're awesome, super durable. You get the strap, I think it's a seven foot strap um that goes with it and you get the rope lock and i'm gonna real quick kind of go through each one of these and show you a few things about them so this strap has a lead serrated edge that goes to the bottom and the rings will sit on top and that's what locks the strap into place so you really want to put this together at home and then stick it in your pocket so when you climb you're not fiddling around trying to actually put this together I do this video, I show this again outside, but I just want to make sure. So now you got it all set to buckle up. So you can just roll this up, stick it in your pocket, and be ready to go. And you also get the, the rope trap. And it's basically just like a Chinese finger lock. You're going to take the tag end. I already got one on here. But you're going to take the tag end of your rope. You're going to put the expandable material with a rope lock over that and kind of milk it down and I do this at the tree because I don't leave this on the rope because you might have a bunch of presets and that way you only have to buy one of the kits then you can just buy the rings and the straps separately and that holds really nice that's not coming off of there this will only break at about 40 pounds um, so uh, it's not something you're going to be able to hang on we did that on purpose because somebody would try to hang on it um, so yeah that's how that works and then you have the loop in so once you get your strap up, you're going to run a piece of mason line. I like this braided orange line. And you get a whole bunch of it for like six bucks at Home Depot. And that goes into the loop, around the tree, back down through the loop. And you'll see this in the rest of the video. It hangs on. And you take the tag in. You tie it to your, uh, to your rope lock. I just do an overhand knot, however you want to tie it on. So now you got this going through the loops and when you pull it up it goes up through the loop around the tree back down through the loop now if you're only carrying 25 feet of rope, this is kind of nice if you're only carrying 25 feet of rope and you have this set at 25 feet up then this actually becomes a, an extension of your rope so when you're pulling your rope up you just put this when before before your uh, delta link goes up the tree just loop this around it pull all your slack through this and now this is this is pulling this down so you'll still have the full length of your rope same thing when you pull everything down all right just wanted to show you that real quick we're gonna take it outside and set it up let's see how it works when you want to take this off you just push this end it comes right off stick that back in your pocket hey guys jerry with cgm here real quick i was going to show you how to use the uh, crotch rings just do a real quick demo. I'm going to set it up down here. I have one set up up here that we're going to pull the rope through just to show you how to do it. So before, usually before you get to the tree, maybe at home, you want to get your kit set up, take everything out. Your rope lock, you want to put that in your pocket because you're not going to need that just yet. And then your rings and your strap you want to pull out. So your strap has a lip on the bottom that's serrated. I hope you can see that. And you want that on the bottom. You want that down. So you're gonna take the end of the strap, put it through both your rings. Move all those down. You just wanna make sure that that strap, that bite is on the bottom of your strap. So wrap that guy around the tree. Of course you'll be doing this wherever you want your your rappel rope or your tether or whatever you'll want to do this wherever you, you want that to be in the tree we'll buckle this guy down Pull it fairly tight. Put your buckle to the back of the, the back of wherever you're going to be facing. 
and then you move your rings to where they're about 100, 180 degrees out on the tree. Move them to the side a little bit like that. Give them one more good snug. All right, your excess strap, you can roll it up, tie it up, cut it off. It's really up to you. If you don't like straps hanging, it doesn't usually bother me. Um, if you don't like straps hanging, go ahead and cut it off. And then we'll get whatever line you choose to use. We use this braided mason line. And you're going to go into the loop around the back of the tree and back through that second loop. So we're just creating basically a false crotch. And then you're going to have that to where both ends go down to about two feet off the ground. That's where I like it. That guy off and then for the off season I like to wrap it around the back of the tree and kind of tie it off you want to keep it off the ground because the ground critters will get a hold of this orange rope and chew on it um, you might have problems with squirrels chewing on your rope I don't I haven't had that problem but I guess it could happen and also, if you hunt where there's cattle, they will get a hold of that orange rope too. So I just tie it off and leave it just like that. And you walk away from it and you're all set until you're ready to hunt that tree and then you come back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this one down. I'm going to show you on this higher one how it works. here what I do is now you're going to tape your rope lock out of your pocket you're going to tie it on to whatever side you want to tie it on to doesn't need to be anything fancy then you're going to take your climbing rope the tag end of your climbing rope and you're going to like a Chinese finger lock you're going to push this edge over top of that all the way down Give that good milk, and that's got a hold of it. Good. And then you're going to pull your tag in through, pull your rope up. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to move the camera up so you can actually see it going, doing its thing. So once you have your rope tied on and your rope lock in place, you're going to pull your tag in. I like to push this side up while I'm pulling this down. Just makes it a little smoother. And once you get up to your ring, you're going to give it a little bit of a shake. You're just going to pull through. You're just going to pull through that the other side. You're just kind of keep feeding it through. Just like so. Now, if you've got that... 25 feet up and you only have 25 feet of rope it's real easy all you have to do is take your just take the d-ring end of your rope put your pull rope through that so now you're going to create your girth hitch down here so keep pulling your rope through. Pull that up, and then I like to give it a little bit of a shake and a pull. You see that ring is flexible, and it's going to bend and bounce right back into place when you're ready for it too. Now you're ready to climb and that's how it works uh climb up once you're hunting when you're done you put your retrieval rope on walk down pull this whole thing up pull the orange rope back through it 
disconnect your uh, your rope lock and you're good to go.